The long-term effects of pollution are now becoming a daily reality we can no longer ignore. These effects permeate our daily lives in ways you may not have even realized, whether you're based in rural or urban areas. But there is no denying it is not only about litter piling up on land or forming plastic islands in the ocean. There is a lot more to the growing pollution of our planet. Ways pollution is really affecting us today. Air pollution Air pollution is one of the most dangerous pollutants, but unless you can see the smog in the city you live in, you probably don't think about it too often. Every industrial activity creates air pollution in some way or another. Every process that burns fuel creates an exhaust, from cooking to creating electricity to transportation. Factory chimneys are releasing chemical substances to the air from their industrial activities. Human waste plants release vast amounts of dangerous gas into the air during their processes. The first problem is that air quality is compromised. Air pollution is one of the world's largest killers, claiming 4.6 million lives per year. That's one in nine of global deaths annually. A shockingly high number of people, higher than the number of deaths from malaria, TB and HIV AIDS combined. Air pollution affects lung and heart health, leading to lung and heart diseases like cardiovascular disease, respiratory infections, cancer and asthma. The second outcome is acid rain. When air pollutants combine with rain clouds, the four Falling rain turns to a corrosive and dangerous mixture of acid rain. The third outcome of air pollution is global warming, an inescapable truth that the Earth's atmosphere is warming by the increase of toxic pollution which is disrupting natural processes as the temperature rises. The effect of this is melting of ice stores, increased ocean levels and changes to the ocean's currents. Animal populations are decreasing as a result, offering less food stability to a growing human population. There is an increased risk of natural disasters especially in low-lying coastal areas. Weather patterns are affected by ocean temperature changes, leading to drought and flooding. Indoor air pollution Many cooking methods within a home could be affecting your health too. Cooking by burning substances like coal, kerosene or wood release sulfur dioxide smoke and ash. This is toxic when breathed in and can lead to lung problems. Radon gas is also known to build up in homes and exposure can cause cancer. There are devices that reduce radon levels within your home. Many construction materials, like asbestos, have since been banned. However, much of it still remains in older structures today and removing it and disposing of it needs to be done by professionals as it is highly toxic. Certain mold spores that settle in homes are toxic when breathed in by humans. They tend to thrive in cool, damp and dark areas where there is a wood or cardboard substrate to live on. Mold is hard to get rid of because as it is disturbed, spores spread via the air and settle in new locations. Water pollution There are two kinds of water pollution affecting the world's waterways and ocean. They are pollution caused by litter and pollution caused by chemicals. The better understood pollution of litter is easier to gauge when you see local beaches full of washed up foreign plastic packaging or see images of giant floating plastic garbage patches. This type of litter isn't the result of coastal towns failing to dispose of waste, but rather a global problem of waste mismanagement leading to all waterways becoming a one-way transport route for litter. From inland to the ocean. The addition of a foreign body like plastic and trash into the ocean is devastating to marine sea creatures, especially when they mistake it for food. They are unable to digest the plastic, so it does not pass through their bodies, and then they cannot digest real food and starve to death. They also get tangled up in trash and die. This is the case with fish, marine animals, and seabirds. There are many human interventions trying to clean up floating plastic pollution and prevent it from entering the ocean by catching it at entry points. The the next form of water pollution is chemical pollution. This is a lot harder to remove from the water as it completely mixes in with healthy water and poisons it, and the effects are irreversible in many ways. Chemicals from farms, factories and city runoff are dumped or leached into waterways. These introduce toxic chemicals that kill off animal, plant and bacteria that balance waterways. When one part of the ecosystem is killed off, another might increase and cause havoc. Fertilizers, for example, cause an explosive growth in algae. This chokes waterways by decreasing the oxygen available that other species need to survive. Huge populations of fish can suffocate and die when this happens. Humans can be affected when they drink water where toxic chemicals or human or animal waste are released into waterways. Diseases like typhoid, hookworm or cholera are spread in this way and can be deadly. These can also enter our bodies through infected shellfish. Chemicals polluting our world's water can be poisonous to humans and animals, leading to organ damage 
damage. Heavy metals like lead and mercury are reportedly increasing in water. These are known to cause illnesses like Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's. Soil pollution Soil is a living organism and contains a massive population of the bacteria that helps our planet function. However, through industrial and agricultural pollution, much of the Earth's soil has become affected by pollutants. Pesticides and herbicides used in farming are a main source of soil pollution. Dumping hazardous materials from mining or industry can contaminate large areas of soil as the chemicals continue to leach. Our own household waste collected into landfills can leach toxic chemicals into to the surrounding land. Human and animal populations living near polluted soil can be infected by breathing in gases emitted by the soil or from wind distributing soil particles into the mouth and onto skin. The result can be poisoning symptoms, spread of germs and disease, or a buildup of contaminants over time, leading to organ damage. But the effect of soil pollution does not end with those directly in contact. Food grown in or animals grazing on the soil can also become polluted. When these foods are consumed, they can also cause health problems. Light pollution You might not consider the effect of light as a pollutant, but it is actually having a greater effect on the Earth's environment than you might think. The Earth's natural day-night rhythm is an important part of every living creature's DNA. Almost every species on the planet has developed around it. In places where excessive light is present all through the night, these natural rhythms are being disrupted. Nocturnal wildlife is not able to hunt and breed under the cloak of dark. Migratory patterns are confused when the length of days do not shorten naturally with the winter, and relationships of certain predators and prey that were able to maintain a balance under the safety of dark are forever changed. There are hundreds of studies showing the adverse physical and psychological effects that light after sunset has on the human, not least of all, a disruption to melatonin production, which helps regulate our natural body cycles and can lead to increased anxiety, obesity and fatigue. Noise pollution Noise pollution is less permanently damaging to the planet in some ways, because if all our modern life machines and paraphernalia just suddenly stopped, we would return to natural sounds in many ways. But the reality is that isn't going to happen, and nothing can ignore the hum, buzz and drone of modern life that permeate the planet. The effects on us are generally not physical, they are mostly mental disorders like anxiety and stress, but these can lead to physical illnesses and disease. For animals, it is a far more aggressive effect. Changes to migration patterns, retarding hunting communication, interfering with mating calls, disorientation and stress all reduce the animal's ability to thrive. Even below the ocean, animals are not safe from the drone of modern noise. Oil drilling, seismic surveying and recreational and industrial watercrafts create a constant noise. In extreme cases like seismic surveying, blasts can cause marine animals to hemorrhage. Thermal heat pollution Thermal pollution is a sudden increase or decrease in the temperature of a natural body of water by human influence. This includes lakes, rivers, ponds and the ocean. The main causes are deforestation, causing erosion and faster water runoff from the land and the reduction of shade from trees. It includes industrial pollution when the dumping of warm water or chemicals into waterways occurs, as well as water runoff from paved areas in cities often retains the heat from the cement surfaces. The effects are less oxygen in the water. Warmer water has a lower dissolved oxygen content. Most water-based species require a level of dissolved oxygen in the water. Without this, they die. Warm water also allows algae and bacteria to thrive, throwing off the natural balance of the environment. This disrupts a chain reaction of processes like reproduction, metabolism and migration. In what way has pollution affected you? Share your stories with us in the comments below. 1. Radioactive pollution Radioactive pollution is one of the most dangerous and difficult pollutions to remedy. When a nuclear plant malfunctions or nuclear waste is not disposed of correctly, the effects on the local population of humans, plants and animals is devastating. Nuclear energy is one of the most potent energy sources man has discovered to date, but the risks associated with it often outweigh the benefits. Unfortunately, in several locations, the devastating effects of radioactive pollution has already been experienced. The effects have been catastrophic. Death and radiation sickness are the immediate consequence, but the long-term effects are far-reaching. A nuclear explosion like at the Fukushima or Chernobyl power plant don't just contaminate the area surrounding it. The radioactive pollution is carried by air much further. The surrounding waterways can also spread the radiation. The soil exposed to radiation is also rendered infertile 
fertile often. However, if crops are grown on it, the radiation can pass through to the crops and cause radiation sickness in anyone who consumes them. Radiation increases as it moves up the food chain. So, if animals are exposed to it and then we consume the animals, we are also infected with radiation.